Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Garage. And today is part five. I am back. Gave you a little break last video. Um, but now I'm back to the build so we can finish this thing and get it running. So I forgot where we left off. Left off. I forgot where we left off. Oh, okay, so I did that. Next page. So, we are going to assemble the steering bell crank onto the front skid plate and install onto front bulkhead assembly. So, we need um, front skid plate, of course. This is right here. And then I need those wash the little the skinny washers. Yeah, the skinny. I need the uh, four of these skinny washers. The last four of them. Four of the these little silver washers. Right there. And then these four like plastic bushings. On bag. Okay, so I have those. So, and then I also need this screw. And then both of these screws and two of these four by 12 millimeter. Okay, so, hold on. All right, so first, oh, let me get the bell cranks, obviously, two. Lol. Okay. So first it is two of these thin gray washers on each side right here. Put those on first. One, two. One, uh, two. Ah, it came off. Okay. Now, on each side of the bell crank goes one of these plastic bushings. I think. Uh, is that what they're called? Bushings? Yeah, I'm just going to keep calling them bushings until someone tells me different. So, those bushings go on each side. And then, I put these two in. So that goes right there. Um, this goes like this. Now I get these screws right here. Put one of the silver washers over that and screw this in. Let me screw this in real quick. Okay, that one's screwed in on the other one. Oh, gotta get another silver washer. Okay, now it says tipping, uh, okay, 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 a 
Okay, I need this little cross member piece. It says, no, if you're using the provided tools for this, for kit assembly, install the toe links and M by three, three by 0 0.5 uh, nuts during this step to allow room for tightening the nut with the four way wrench. Well, I mean, I will just tighten it anyways, correct? I'll just do that, I don't know. Okay, well this is gonna, I'll do this first. So let me get, so it's one of these screws, it goes into there, and then goes into here. They didn't give me a screwdriver, so I gotta get a screwdriver. I'll be right back. <laughs> Never mind, I have one in here. Okay. Screwdriver. That's on pretty tight. And now it says to um, install the toe links. Um, well, actually, it says I don't really need it. Or I don't, I don't really need to. Because. Um, I'm debating on whether I should do it now or later. Because the next step is attaching this to this, and I can either put them on how they are, how it is right now, or I could put them on after I attach it to this. I don't know what to do. Um. Um, I think I'll just attach them after and then use my own tools for the first time. It just seems, I just want to follow what they're saying so I don't mess it up or get confused or something. So I'm going to attach um, what's this called? The skid plate to the front bulkhead first, and then I'll attach um, the. I'm gonna attach the skid plate to the front bulkhead first, and then I'll attach the toe links after in the next step, like it says. I'll just probably have to use um, one of my tools. What the heck is going on? Is this the first flaw? Oh, my hammer falling. Is this the first flaw with this kit? Because it's like not lining up it's supposed to be flush right oh there there it is okay my fault user error not the kids fault hmm. 
Mm. Pretty messed up, guys. I just, I just remembered. I forgot to put on some washers. I saw the two washers sitting on the side, and I was like, oh, forgot to put those on. That would have been bad. I need to put washers under these. Great, great, great. I love this, love this. And it wasn't that bad to get these on, so. Not that big of a setback. Like I said, could have been a lot worse. All right, that is all together right there. And now I'm starting to see why they said to put the camera links on before. This sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fine. All right, so I'm gonna put the camera links on now. That is next. So, this goes to the bottom right here. Okay, I have to screw this in. Okay, now that that screw is all screwed in, I'm gonna put toe link on top, and then one of the, and then the nut on top of that. Now my tools come out. Because I kind of don't want to deal with... I hate those little stupid wrenches. Those are even... Is this not big enough? Did I get the wrong size? Those little wrenches... I, I can't, I can't with those. Okay, that one's on there at the bell crank. Now we're gonna install the one that goes through the steering block. So it's another three by 18. I'm going to screw it in through the bottom. Okay, I have the tow link on right there. Now I'm just going to put the nut on. And then tighten it down with my driver. There it is. That's one side done. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the other side real quick. Alright, so I have the steering assembly in. Now it's time to kind of finish it off. And we're going to install the steering link and the servo saver. So it's these two, and then it's two 14, three by 14 millimeters. So this is gonna go through this, through the top of this. So I'm gonna screw that in real quick. All right. That is in. Now it is this, the other screw through that. And this side is down through that with the last 
mat right here that is going to go on the servo saver. Is that it, right? Is it this side? Oh, no, no, no. Reverse. Re reverse. Flip the servo saver around. Okay. Now the nut will go on. Oops. Tighten this down. I should probably turn this sideways and get the Allen wrench. So I could tighten this up all the way. That is in now. We pretty much have the steering done and good to go. Alright, so now we are going to attach the front bumper, which is the last part of the front suspension bag. So that goes, yeah, like this. Oh, right there. So I'm just going to get these in real quick. Almost done, almost done. There it is, front bumper is on. Ooh, I like how it's looking, I like how it's looking. So, we only have one more, the last thing we're gonna do for this video is install the, um, install the, 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 the shocks. That's what they're called, shocks. So we're gonna install the two front shocks so obviously this goes on the top and it goes into this hole right here at the top of on the on the shock tower Okay, so install the top one, and then for it says for the best off-road performance, install on the first position, starting from the inside. So the in the most inside hole is the first position. Okay, that one's in. Next one. All right, guys, that is the front assembly. Yes, it is done. That is looking pretty good. Now we have the rear assembly done. Now we have the front assembly done. And now we just need the chassis. Just this right here. Boom, right in the middle. Attach it like that. Right there. There. It's all done. Just kidding. No, but we do need to do the chassis. And I'll definitely probably finish up this build in the next um, episode so if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching